It was supposed to just be a casual dinner between friends. Coach Fulmer says, I don't know what I was thinking about. I'm going to get something to eat. You want to eat dinner with me? I said, sure. ETSU Athletic Director Richard Sander and coaching legend Philip Fulmer sharing a table at Cheddar's in Johnson City. Sander opted for the beef. Started to chew it and swallowed it and got caught in my throat. Coughing didn't work. Soon Sander knew he was in trouble. Phil said to me, are you okay? And I said, mm, I couldn't talk, so I just shook my head, no. Fulmer's game plan, tackle. So I got up and Coach Fulmer then tried to do the Heimlich. But in this case, Dr. Sander says Fulmer fumbled. You know, being an offensive lineman and a big, strong guy, you know, he did the Heimlich, but I could pretty much tell what he was doing wasn't exactly right. Knowing there was no I in team, Fulmer knew he needed help. It just caught my eye and I, you know, from a distance knew that someone needed help. Nurse practitioner Amber Campbell is used to saving lives while on the clock at the Johnson City Medical Center. And on this night, she opted for a little overtime. I just said, I'm a nurse practitioner. Do you mind if I try? And, you know, I'm thinking, oh, boy, this is this is a really good thing because Fulmer, you know, he doesn't know how to do this. You're trained to the to the level of responding to emergencies calmly. I could see the headlines in the, in the paper and on TV the next day that, you know, athletic director dies because Coach Fulmer, you know, can't perform Heimlich. But that headline never made print. It was so different from what Phil was trying to do. It was amazing. And he got in, under my ribs. You know, did pressure and a piece of steak popped right out. Sanders says he'll never be able to repay Amber, but he tried anyways. A small necklace that Amber now wears around her neck. It's a tree of life and uh, it's very special. A token of appreciation for a life saved. Truly perfect example of being um, the right place at the right time.